Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and to another video. Today we're going to be going through my May monthly reset. If you haven't seen any of my videos before, for the resets I go through my monthly goals, my budget, my expenses, reflections, all those kinds of fun things, sometimes favorites. Um, but yeah, May is upon us. I can't believe it. All I think of for the month of May is this meme. If you know, you know, that's very millennial of me, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, going into May, I don't know really how I did in April overall. I feel like it was a bit of a roller coaster. It went by so quickly, like so quickly. I know there's two days left, so yeah, but I don't know. April just flew by. It is a short month, obviously, but yeah, some highs, some lows. And I do apologize about the lighting in the afternoon. My place doesn't get too much light. So yep, yeah, I'm very blue right now. So the sun will come out from behind a cloud any second. So without further ado, I'm going to get into my goals for April and see how we did. And then also my goals that I placed for May. Uh, if you guys are new here, my name is Sasha. I am a 31 year old living in Melbourne. I also just came back from living in Canada for five and a half years. So some of my content pretty soon will be Canada content, which is very, very delayed. And I'll get into that a little bit on why it is delayed. And yeah, let's get into my goals. Okay, so sorry about the lighting. I know I'm very blue but there's not much I can do about it. Unfortunately, I don't have any lights. I left them all in Canada, so we're just going with this. So, April goals. Uh, personal, take myself out on a date. I did this, I went to see a comedy show. Well, I saw three comedy shows alone, but one of them, the I went to see, was it Joel Creasy? Yeah, Joel Creasy. I took myself out to a nice dumpling restaurant in the CBD. And it was kind of cool because the waiter took pity on me and I got served before everyone else. Cause I was like table for one. Uh, so that was a bit daunting, but it was okay. I had, it was just, I don't even think there was music. It was so loud in there. So I just had my AirPods in with a podcast and I just listened to a podcast while I ate my dumplings in peace. And then I just walked down to, yeah, see Joel Creasy, which was an amazing show. So vibes, um, make a vision board. Didn't do that. I just, I don't know, haven't had the creative urge to, but I, I still want to. So anyway, focus on friends who have time for me. I ticked this. Did I focus on friends that have time for me the whole time? No, because I'm very much focused on the friends who don't have time for me, who are not speaking to me, who are ghosting me for some reason. And it's just... It's still really tough and it's a tough pill to swallow and there's so many questions and I'm a very, very anxious person and I just want answers that maybe I'll never get. So I just have to let go uh, a bit more, but I definitely did put time into my friendships here and got as much social time as I could with people and try to nurture the friendships that I have with people who want to be friends with me, you know, make time for them. Explore a suburb for a day. I didn't tick this. I did spend an afternoon in Hawthorne, but I didn't really, I don't feel like I got a lot out of it. Like I just looked at really nice houses and I was like, wow, look at all the mansions. This is a really lovely old area of Melbourne, but I didn't get the full experience of Hawthorne. Like I didn't go shopping or, you know, sit down for a coffee there. I just walked around the nice houses and then got a tram back home. So yeah, I didn't really count that. Anyway, financial, we're not even gonna look at because it's so hard, like working nine to five, I can't go into a bank because all the banks are shut. And I just need to talk to my bank about what credit cards they can offer me. But then I also am just being lazy because for the high savings bank that I've heard about, which is online, you just have to take a photo of your license and I just can never find my license when I'm on the page. So I'm like, oh, I'll just do it later. And then I never do it. So again, I'm so sorry about the lighting. I know I'm blue. It is what it is. Um, health and wellness. Look at me go. Look at all these ticks. This makes me very excited. Keep up my Pilates regularly. I go roughly four or five times a week. So pretty, pretty happy with that. Uh, buy healthier snacks for work. Carrots and hummus. Cashews. That's literally it. Um, aim to be in bed earlier. 
aim is the keyword and that's why I ticked it. I have been going, getting into bed earlier, but it's not, there's no consistency with it. Like I was in bed the other night, like physically in bed at 10 and I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, maybe it's because I was up at, you know, 5 a.m. this morning, like a lot of mornings, but getting into bed by 10 is really, really good for me because I usually got into bed at midnight. So making, making some changes uh, by a yoga mat. Wait, oh yeah, I'm getting one tomorrow. That's why I ticked it. Because I didn't have any hands today when I was at the shopping center, like I couldn't carry it home. But I've seen one, clocked it, it's a Kmart. I went to, the, went to Lululemon because I had a Lululemon yoga mat in Canada that um, I, I, how do you bring a yoga mat back to Australia? I just had no room for it, but it was a really nice one. And now I've seen it, they're like $100. For a yoga mat? You're kidding. I'm like, absolutely not. Kmart it is, so I'm gonna do that. Um, social media, I posted on TikTok a fair bit. It wasn't all my content. I was so obsessed with Coachella, like I mm, loved it. And I didn't see many full versions of some songs of Sabrina Carpenter. So I'm like, does that count about posing two talks? I don't know. And I didn't do any reels and I didn't edit YouTube really at all. I think I had like two days of doing that. So yeah, anyway, that was my April goals. Let's look at May. Uh, personal, donate some clothing. I just need to be a bit ruthless. I have nearly everything clothing wise at my apartment now, not back at my parents. I did another load because mum drove me home a couple of nights ago. So I took another suitcase, like a full suitcase of winter stuff. Now I have here and I was like, I have 30 jumpers like a lot of jumpers. And they're all from, I wanna say late high school. Like I don't, not many things are new in my wardrobe. Let's be real. Um, but yeah, who needs 30 jumpers? I don't. So I need to be ruthless and do some chops and donate. Make a vision board. I really do wanna do this because I think it'd be nice to have it on my phone, especially cause I've got a, where's my phone? I've got like a bigger phone now. So I'll have a bigger vision board, whereas my other phone is like that big. Um, my iPhone 8. Anyway, <laughs> uh, start planning overseas trip. I have a couple of trips that I am planning. So I wanna even do some booking and just wanna knuckle down what I'm actually doing um, for my trips this year. And obviously speak to work and figure out when I can get leave and all of that stuff. Explore a suburb for a day. I guess I left that one in there. I really want to do this and somewhere really random. I just want to pick on like the train map or the tram map of Melbourne and just go, I'm going to explore that place and just go obviously places that I can walk around because she don't have a car. Um, but yeah, I still want to do that. Financial. Let's just keep doing this every month, I guess. Uh, health and wellness, do a dance class. I did dancing for years and years and years. And I haven't done it properly, obviously, since uni, but because it was part of my degree. But I did a few dance classes in Vancouver last year and I loved them. They were so fun. And I think I could do that alone and potentially make friends. So I'm going to try that. There's kids screaming in the park. Cute. Um, no coffees after 2 p.m. I want to be really strict on that. Not that I think the coffee keeps me awake because I still get really sleepy if after a coffee. I just love the taste of it. But if I want to have like a warm drink or something near the end of my shift at work or if I'm doing like a, a close where I work till 6 p.m., let's go for a tea with, I mean, tea does have caffeine, but really not that much. So I'm going to try and do that if I want to have a hot beverage or I think they do have decaffeinated pods. So just go for a decaf. Because that might help me wind down. I don't know, I'm just such a night owl. I love staying up late. Uh, aim to do yoga once a week. I really want to get back into that. I was so happy with my yoga routine over, yeah, I guess the past like four years when I was living. Yeah, I think I really started when I moved in with my ex. That's when I really started doing yoga regularly. And I just loved it. I just found it really empowering and I just felt really strong from doing it. And yeah, I think my body needs it from sitting all day. 
start to write more down. I have a lot of ideas, especially after the comedy festival. I had all of these creative ideas and I just think about it and then I don't write it down and then they're gone forever because I have a memory like a fish. So yeah, I want to write more down. Social media, post more regularly on Instagram. I feel like I need to get into the gram a little bit more because TikTok is being banned. Nah, I love TikTok so much more, but I feel like Instagram, it is nice to look back at memories and have a bit of like a photo dump because I love looking at other people's photo dumps and then I'm like, what have I been up to? And then I can look back. Oh, that's a nice memory. So I'm trying to remember to take photos more. I feel since coming back to Melbourne, I haven't taken as many photos. I don't know if it's the people I'm hanging out with or what, what I'm doing or it's not really the right setting to take a photo, but I'm like, no, I should, I wanna remember this core memory and lock it in with a photo. So I need to do that more. Grow my TikTok following this month. I was on an upwards trend with a few, yeah, the Jonas Brothers video I posted with Dorothy the Dinosaur went off. That has only a hundred, no, 500,000 views. What? Like, I don't know, some random, videos will just take off and I think TikTok is the fastest growing app and it doesn't look like it's going anywhere in Australia so I think that is somewhere where I want to focus a bit more on because you can just post literally anything and it could go viral or as I like to say viral. Alrighty, goals done. Done and dusted. Let's go on to, let's do budget now. Let's spice it up. Okay, now I'm gonna go onto my budget. I've got it just on my computer here. So again, I'm gonna be looking down. I'm so sorry. So for April, let's have a look at the summary. My income was, yeah, I got some YouTube AdSense that I didn't know was coming in. So it was 4,331 and I spent 3,257. So looking at last month, how much did I spend? Yeah, four and a half thousand, pretty much my whole paycheck plus some, but that was because of the new computer. So uh, yeah, a lot less. So 3,257, the majority of stuff I spent it on was um, housing and bills, which, you know, makes sense. So let's go through. Rent utilities was pretty much on par but I put in my ambulance cover. If you guys aren't already covered by ambulance cover, it is, yeah, $52 for the entire year to be covered by, I mean, that's just for Victoria. I don't think that's Australia wide, but if you don't have ambulance cover, it can cost like the US, like thousands and thousands of dollars if you need an ambulance. Um, and they don't really tell you that. Like my parents had to tell me because once I think over your, over 21, over the age of 21, you have to get ambulance cover. You're not under your parents anymore. So if this is your sign to go get ambulance cover or check if you're covered in your state in Australia, I don't know how it works everywhere else. Like in Canada, I had MSP and I don't know if that covered ambulance. I have absolutely no idea. I think so, I don't know. Um, and then I had to get my new, my license expired in April. So I got a new license. Hopefully that comes soon. Electricity bill for the month was 58. I guess that was for March. And then rent is rent plus uh, internet. So then phone bill, I spoke to Vodafone and I got it down an extra five bucks, we love, or more, $6. So now it's $34 a month, which is great. Still haven't subscribed back to my podcast, so that's just chilling there. Mikey, I had to, well, I have to get a new Mikey card. So that $25 has gone down the drain because I lost it. We won't talk about it. Uh, groceries, this is so annoying. I was under and then I just went to Coles to get some groceries because I'm going to my friend Kate's tonight for dinner. And she's like, can you, and I asked what to bring. She said dips and crackers, so I bought that. And now I'm like, I ruined my budget. I was under, I was so excited. But anyway, so anyway, I was over by about 20 bucks. So yeah, that's a bit annoying. So yeah, I spent a lot at Coles which is standard. Restaurants I was way under, which I was really surprised. For some reason I thought I went out a lot this month and I guess I didn't. I don't know why I thought that. But anyway, I only spent $124 out and once was by myself and then one was of Anthea and one was of Gab last night, literally. And I thought that I went out more 
I don't know, this month just, again, it flew. I don't know what's going on. Cafes, takeaway, uh, Mad Max was food court. That was coffee. I got Liz's coffee. Macca's, Uber Eats was with a friend. So it was like eating in. Messina was last night. Green Cup with Liz. Look out, $18 for an acai bowl. You're kidding. Um, short straw was today. So brunch today. Um, so $142 on cafe slash takeaway. Didn't go to Dan Murphy's at all. My parents did bring a couple of bottles of wine um, for me just to have at the house. So it's gonna save me some money in the future. Uh, hair, I thought, you know, I budgeted 500 and it would have been if I got a cut and a blow dry. Long story short, I didn't, it's so different here than what Kayla was. So where I went, it was just, you have to book in for a cut separately to a color. Like the person who does your color doesn't cut your hair. It's so confusing. So I obviously got my hair done. It's very, very blonde. It's also like quite intense because it was just yesterday that I got it done. So it almost looks kind of silvery in this blue light, but I promise you it looks good. Maybe I'll put a photo there, <laughs> what it looks like in the sun and after it was just done. So yeah, I'm very happy with the color, but I didn't get it cut because there wasn't enough time because they're so booked out. Like the girl basically moved on to someone else and some other girl was like washing my hair. And I'm like, oh, she's gone now. So whole new experience, very strange. And I miss Kayla so much because her and I became very close friends, well, like quite close friends while she did my hair from 2019 to, you know, till I right up until I left for Melbourne. So I miss Kayla so much, but the color, can't fault the color, love the color, love the job that she did. But it's just not the same. You know, I, I miss the connection with my hairstylist. So yeah, that was just a color. So 295 was just a color and they just dried my hair. They didn't do anything fancy with the blow wave. So if I had gotten the whole kit and caboodle, it would have been 500 bucks, I reckon. Pilates was 232 because I had a discount code or something. So 232, which is a lot of money for Pilates, but I really like it, so whatever. Um, travel fun money, what did I put under here? Comedy festival tickets, so I went to three shows, and the other show that I, I saw Dave Hughes with mum and dad, and that was last month I paid for that and paid for all of us. So this is just for me to see three other shows. So I thought that was pretty good. Cotton on, I bought some clothes, I bought the jeans that I'm wearing, I bought this top, and I bought a couple of shoe, pairs of shoes, some sneakers that were really cute. Um, so that was yesterday, I spent $125 at Cotton On. Whoops. Cotton On is so expensive now. What? Like, cost of living, wow. Shopping, light bulb, fascinating stuff. Uh, Kmart, don't know what I bought for Kmart for 50 bucks. Couldn't tell you. No, I couldn't, I have no idea what I bought at Kmart, but I bought something from Kmart. Um, counseling, so I've got counseling tomorrow. So my first session's tomorrow, my psych session is tomorrow but I have no idea how much it'll cost. So I presume it'll be around 200 bucks. I'm guessing a lot less, but I've just put that there as a benchmark. So I don't know. Pet care uh, was a lot more, $84 because her dental food is so expensive, but it lasted like three months or two months. Yeah, I bought it at the beginning of Feb. So yeah, two and a half, three months. Um, yeah. And that's quite cheap because I bought other dental treats too. So yeah, a lot, I was way over planned 40, spent 105 and then 27 on chemist warehouse stuff. I'm not sure what I bought. Toothpaste and deodorant, I'm sure. So yeah, all together spent 3,257. Let's look at May. I don't know if I'm going to get anything from AdSense. I doubt it because I haven't been posting anything. I'm a terrible YouTuber. Uh, I wouldn't literally, oh, I'm not gonna, why did I call myself a YouTuber? I post of one video a month. Of course, I'm not gonna make any money this month. Shocking. Um, okay, rent, same. Phone, I put down to 35. Podcast subscription, who knows. Mikey, I just put 10 because, yeah, I'm gonna get a new Mikey card today and yeah, it's fine. I don't really use it that often. Uber taxi, keeping it 10. Groceries, I'm gonna keep it 450 because I was pretty on budget apart from going today. Restaurants 250, cafe, takeaway 200 to put liquor store down to 20, but I really don't even think I'm gonna go. Pilates, I put 260 because I think I have a discount code, but I don't know 
I'm gonna get like a the bigger package of more classes. Travel fund money put at 500 in case I book any of my overseas trips or anything like that, like flights or I don't know. It could be way more than that as well. If I buy like a tour, it's gonna be like a grand. Shopping 150. I don't know what I need to buy. Probably nothing. Counseling. If I go like for two sessions or I don't know, I just put that at 250. Pet care I put 300 because. Flo has to get her vaccines in May and get her teeth checked. So I'm hoping it's only $300. Fingers crossed the dental diet has worked. Um, so yeah, hoping it's 300, touch wood. Uh, drugstore, I put 40 bucks because I don't need anything from Chemist Warehouse. So yeah, we'll see how we go for May. Um, so that is everything with my budget. Let's get onto my reflections. Okay, I'm gonna get into my reflections. I didn't write anything down, so I'm gonna keep this as concise as I can because I have a feeling this video is gonna go for a while. What are you most proud of? I have not thought about this at all. Uh, what am I most proud of? Continuing to be self-aware with what I need to work on. I'm very, very much aware of my strengths and weaknesses. Um, I'm very self-aware of how I am mentally right now. Obviously, I'm going to see a psychologist tomorrow. I'm self-aware to the point that it's, yeah, I, I'm not in the best place right now mentally and I'm gonna, like, I'm doing something about it. But yeah, I'm proud of myself that I'm making moves to help myself. Cause yeah, I'm not in the happiest place right now with myself, not in any sort of state to start like dating or anything like that. Cause I feel like as RuPaul says, you know, if you can't love yourself, how are you gonna, how the hell are you gonna love somebody else? And I don't really love myself right now. So yeah, let's just move on from that. But I'm proud of myself for knowing that I need help and going to seek help. Uh, what challenged you this month? A uh, few challenging things. Like, it's the same old story, just friend stuff. Trying to find that balance of what to really work on and what to leave behind. Because I think a lot of friendships are worth fighting for, but if they're not willing to fight for it too, like, why am I wasting my time? So, I think what was challenging is just knowing what friendships to give space for them to come back or what friendships to close that door for good. Um, because I tend to give people a lot of chances and I listened to this really good podcast about you shouldn't have to like beg people to be your friend. And I literally felt like I'm this month I was begging a few people to just like be my friend and to notice me and to chat to me because I miss them so much but they couldn't give two shits because they're not <laughs> connecting with me and they're just very much like cool you're you're over there I'm here I'm busy and it's just like oh it's a lot but um yeah it's just challenging to know that and yeah just challenging like just I don't know, that's pretty much it. That's like the heaviest stuff. Little basic stuff is it's getting colder in the mornings to get up. It sucks getting up at five in the morning, it's pitch black. Um, and it's freezing, going to Pilates, um, work. There's been a few challenging um, patients at the clinic that I work at and it's quite taxing. Like it's quite bringing me down, but I have a good team. So anyway, let's move on to something more positive. Uh, what are three things you're grateful for? Grateful for the arts scene in Melbourne. Like the comedy fest was so, so fun. I really, really thoroughly enjoyed it. And I was just really grateful to be like, oh, I could just, like, this is the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. This is right here. I can just head into the city. I live in the city now. So it's so close to just go to all these shows and it's fairly like accessible. Like I just love the arts scene here in Melbourne. It's just so good. Um, I am grateful for, hmm, my body showing up for me, like, I have had, like, knee issues and back issues and stuff like that, but 
I see different people coming into the clinic with all these different issues and I know that my issues are nothing in comparison to what some people have so I'm very grateful for the body that I have and I do take it for granted so I'm definitely grateful for you know my body and it figure itself out and resting and getting better and um, slowly <laughs> somewhat getting stronger so I need to be a bit more grateful for that and why I'm grateful for that and I am grateful to the Canadian government because I have citizenship so now I'm a Canadian citizen so I'm fully Canadian 100% did my oath and I am now a dual citizen so I'm an Australian and a Canadian legitimately so that's kind of cool so I'm grateful for that something you learned this month I learned that I mean I already know this but not everything is about me some people just have a lot of stuff going on and I do take everything to heart and personally and I think I'm the worst and I just go straight to that scenario but a lot of the time people have just got stuff going on in their lives and it's yeah it's not about me a lot of the time as I'm like oh my god I did this I did that this person hates me they looked at me that way and it's like they could have just been having a bad day or they've got stuff going on at home or they just got yelled at on the tram or people have got stuff going on and I take everything on as like this is your fault this is on you but a lot of the time every person's just going through stuff and it's not always my fault so I'm just trying to be like okay like let's just move on and communication is key if you feel like you've got an issue with someone or you want to bring something up that annoys you about someone or that you love about someone just like go tell them like this is my PSA to all y'all out there like <laughs> go tell someone that you love them or if you have an issue with them and you love them go tell them so you can keep that relationship going your friendship or whatever your family like have those tough chats or have have those good chats because Life is so unpredictable, and I think the, it's magpies singing, very Australian. Um, I think it's so great to be honest and just get it out so you can move on. Like, life is too short to have, you know, no one should be ghosting anyone. Let's just say that. Like, I want people to speak their mind and open up to people, and it just, it will just solve so many problems if people spoke to each other. So, I'm learning more and more that if there's any sort of issue that I have, just bring it up immediately. Even if it isn't about you, at least you voiced it like, I feel like you're, you know, you're making me feel like this. Like, this is me feeling that. And they're going to be like, oh, this is a me thing. It's like, oh my God, okay, great. Let's move on. Instead of just not knowing. It's the, un it's the unknown that, uh, yeah, a lot of, a lot of miscommunication just breeds like bad juju and like bad behavior and just, yeah, don't assume anything. Um, yeah, so the word for the month, that's a great question. Let's see what the word of the month was. Okay, I just looked up the word that I chose for April, which was prioritizing. And I definitely prioritized certain things. Not all of it was positive though. So I definitely prioritized myself in wanting to go to the comedy festival because I was like no one's gonna come with me I'll just go alone so I went alone to three shows because I was like I want to do this for me and it felt really good to do that prioritized my Pilates I did feel like I prioritized my health a bit more this month in terms of choosing to cook healthy meals that just don't make me feel terrible like I've got so many different things I'm intolerant to that I just eat and then I feel sick which is just silly so I think I prioritized that but I still was putting time and energy into people and conversations that weren't healthy. So that was not great. So let's think of a word for May. Let's say mindful. I want to be more mindful in May. I think that a few questions have been answered in April with certain situations. And I want to put more of that energy. Like it's so silly to put all this energy of mine into negative spots. And I just... Not that I'm like, I'm, I'm in a bad way. Like I'm not gonna sugarcoat how I'm feeling because I have just said earlier that I'm not in a great place, but I just want to be more mindful of like, this is a rough patch and it's not gonna be like this forever. And I wanna be more mindful for myself and what I'm needing because I'm not 
I'm not the happiest gal right now. I'm only happy when I'm with others. Um, I don't like being alone. I don't know where that comes from, but I get really lonely and I just need to be a bit more mindful and figure out what will help me through this tough spot that I'm in and this weird transition. Like I've been back in Australia for five months now and it feels like I just got back and I keep on referencing, like I just got back from Canada. I'm like, girl, it's end of April. Like I'm not, <laughs> I didn't just come back and it feels like it, like I'm so attached to my life in Vancouver still and I'm not sure where I fit in still. So I'm just going through it at the moment, but that will be okay. I'm gonna be more mindful in May of this and to be trying to be kinder to myself and yeah and to others of course i think i'm pretty kind to others but yeah be a bit more mindful of what i need and what others need and be respectful of people's space and boundaries and things like that so yeah i just want to do a lot more reflection on me and my mental health and stuff like that this may so that is it. I don't really have any favorites for this month. I, yeah, I'm loving burrito bowls. <laughs> if you guys haven't had a burrito bowl in a while, have a burrito bowl. Um, yeah, there's no other clear favorites. I'm still listening to the same podcasts. Um, yeah, literally nothing else. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Like. Taylor Swift's album I could talk about, but I feel like everyone on the internet's talking about it. So if you want to chat about it with me, slide into my DMs, we can chat about her album. But yeah, that is everything. I'm gonna stop waffling on. I feel like this video has gone forever. Thank you guys so much for watching until the end. If you did, uh, if you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. It really supports my channel. Hit subscribe if you aren't already. I will be posting more, I think, because I've not been in a great place. I haven't been posting. That doesn't mean I'm gonna be away forever because I love YouTube when I'm doing it. I think it's just the the getting out of this slump is a lot longer than I thought it would take. So thank you for being patient with me and sticking by me if you have for a while. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Need you to bed.